Okay guys, so I got asked the other day about um, baking out material IDs in Substance Painter and uh, I suggested using vertex colors, um, but doing this in Blender can be a bit arduous. Uh, usually I do it in uh, ZBrush because I do a um, auto polygroups and then I do polygroups to polypaint. Uh, and polypaint is basically the same as uh, vertex colors. And then when you export out your mesh, you can just bake that down uh, to the low poly um, pretty quickly. So. Um, but, you know, say now you want to do this in Blender, uh, it could be a bit, uh, a bit of a process, so uh, I've kind of sped it up. Um, so say now we want an, a, uh, a result like this. Uh, imagine this is our high poly, uh, and each of these objects is a different, you know, a different piece, uh, except for this object here, uh, this one here, which is made up of the, uh, if I go into the normal render mode, we've got this kind of hollowed cube with this kind of shape. Uh, it's kind of got like a, like a edge, Thing going around it and just a face. It's just a random example um, for uh, just, you know, as an example. So if we want a result like this, uh, so first up, one of the scripts is remove vcols. You just click this, it'll remove all the vertex colors for all the meshes uh, that you have selected. And the other one is replace vcols. Click this, it will uh, generate random vertex colors for every object. Um, so we can just keep clicking this, uh, cycle through colors until we find uh, colors that are all different enough that um, we know we'll get a nice uh, a nice bake. So for example, this color and this color are perhaps a little bit too close. Probably okay, but you know we have the option to just click again. Um, and uh, there you go. This is this is perfect. Um, but what if say we want this face that's part of this object to have its own vertex colors? Now we can just click the same button, and this uh, gives us a new vertex color for this face. And again, we can just keep clicking this, and it will uh, cycle through and give us random colors. So we'll also do it for this edge. So if you actually select the edge and you click Replace vcols, it will do it for all the uh, faces that the edge is a part of. So we can click this again, and now there you go. Now we've got our vertex colors. We can export these out to Substance Painter, and uh, we can just bake it out. So yeah, you can get this on GitHub. Thank you for watching.